So, so far we have a very simple application that the user can enter something and we can then log out that name to the console. Let's make this even more powerful by adding a toast at the bottom of the screen that displays a message to the user. So we won't need the nav controller. So let's remove this from our constructor for now. And let's also remove it from the import here and replace the nav controller import with the toast controller. We can inject this inside of our constructor so that we have a class variable that we can use. So we can say private toast of type toast controller. And then inside of our show greeting function, we can say this dot toast dot create. And as you can see that this creates a new toast component. We can pass through a message and this is simply the message that will appear on screen. And for the message, I will say, before going any further, ensure to add backticks when we add the string here. And a backtick is next to one on a Windows keyboard and a Z on a Mac keyboard. We can simply say hello. And then if we use the dollar sign and two braces, we can actually pass in that name. And that's known as a template literal string inside of ES6. Previously, we would have had to have changed this to be hello and then added a plus sign and then added our variable after. But this just makes it that much more powerful and more concise. Finally, we can also add a duration for our toast. And I'm going to add a total of three seconds. That's 3000 milliseconds. And then we can add dot present. This will show the toast instance to the user so that when they hit that show greeting button, they are then given that toast on screen. Let's take a look in our application. If we type Paul Halliday once again and click show greeting, we do get hello, Paul Halliday. So this is a very simple mobile application, but hopefully you can see just how powerful Ionic is and how simple it has been to make this app.